the hidden life between the steel walls of a U.S. aircraft carrier. An American aircraft carrier is not just a ship sailing across the ocean. It is, without exaggeration, an entire floating universe. It stands as a symbol of power, audacity, and the greatness of the United States. Hundreds of thousands of tons of steel and millions of hours of engineering and brain power have come together to ensure that America remains the greatest country in the world. Yet many people, fascinated by this might, often see videos of jets taking off and landing from the carrier's deck, of radars constantly scanning the skies without ever really imagining what happens inside this giant. How do the people, without whom even the most advanced technology would be just a heap of metal, live and work on this ship? In this video, we'll take you inside this floating city and explore the lives of its inhabitants, all united by one goal, to defend their homeland and maintain global stability and security. We're confident that many of the facts you'll learn will surprise you. The U.S. currently has 11 nuclear-powered aircraft carriers. No other country in the world possesses anything even remotely close to this fleet, neither in numbers nor in tonnage. This is a source of immense pride for Americans. For our tour, we'll focus on the newest of them, the USS Gerald R. Ford. It's time to step onto its deck. Wow, so many people. The crew of an aircraft carrier is like a human sea, each person performing their vital role, like a cog in a vast, well-oiled machine. There's a place for everyone here, from the technicians preparing the planes for flight to the officers making strategic decisions. Over 4,500 people live and work aboard this ship, each with their clearly defined responsibilities. The most important figure on any warship is the commander, but on an aircraft carrier there are two commanders. One is the commander of the Carrier Strike Group (CSG), which in addition to the carrier includes three to four destroyers, two to three cruisers, a submarine, and support ships. This commander usually holds the rank of Rear Admiral, identified by two silver stars on his golden shoulder boards. Rear Admiral Eric Eslick currently commands the strike group that includes the USS Gerald R. Ford. The second commander is the captain of the aircraft carrier itself, Captain Rick Burgess, who wears one gold star and four gold stripes on his uniform. Under the carrier captain's command are mid-level officers who manage various aspects of life aboard the ship from flight operations and engineering maintenance to security. They hold ranks from lieutenant, marked by one gold star and two gold stripes, up to commander, signified by a gold star and three gold stripes. Beneath the mid-level officers are the junior officers and enlisted personnel who carry out the countless tasks that keep the carrier operating as the fearsome force it is. They ensure the safe landing of aircraft, manage the catapults and arresting gear, operate the elevators, maintain the radars, and oversee thousands of other systems on the ship. Their coordinated efforts allow this steel giant to be invincible in any circumstance. But how do these 4,500 individuals bound by a shared purpose and the Navy code live? Imagine a multi-story building where every floor and corridor vibrates from the humming engines, with the vast ocean stretching endlessly beyond the walls. This is life aboard an aircraft carrier. The crew lives inside the steel giant where every corner is designed to serve one important goal, maintaining combat readiness. Living quarters vary depending on rank. Officers enjoy relatively private cabins while sailors share small berths with four or six people. In these compact spaces, every inch is carefully thought out. From foldable beds to lockers that must hold all the essentials for several months at sea, do you think it's uncomfortable to share a small space with three or even five people for months on end? Whoever said military service was easy? Consider it another filter that ensures only the strongest and most resilient serve. Time flows differently aboard an aircraft carrier. The typical eight-hour workday doesn't apply here. The crew operates on watches, 12-hour shifts, each beginning with a roll call and briefing. One day might be filled with routine tasks, equipment checks, deck patrols, or preparing aircraft for takeoff. Another day could bring sudden drills or operations with the entire ship operating in a heightened state of readiness. You think it's easy to launch an aircraft every six minutes amidst the thunderous roar of jets, with wet snow lashing the deck and hot exhaust gases swirling in the air? 
Whether you're a pilot preparing for a dangerous mission or a cook feeding hundreds of people daily, your day starts early and ends late. But behind it all lies teamwork and a shared sense of duty. A certain level of tension must always be maintained on the carrier because every mission could become critical at any moment. However, life on an aircraft carrier isn't all about flying. Time is divided between real missions and constant preparation for unpredictable events. Drills and exercises are a daily occurrence. The crew prepares for any possible emergency, a fire in the engine room, an emergency landing of a plane or an enemy attack. No one knows when something unexpected will happen, but everyone is ready for it. Firefighting teams dash through the corridors carrying hoses and oxygen tanks. Pilots practice simulated combat missions while engineers train to repair equipment in extreme conditions. Every one of these moments is a survival drill, a chance to test yourself and your comrades. On an aircraft carrier, everyone from the youngest sailor to the captain must be ready to act instantly as both the mission's success and the lives of those aboard depend on it. Now that we've given a general overview of life aboard, let's look at some of the details. The first is food. Every commander knows that a well-fed soldier is an effective soldier. There's even a saying in the military, war is war, but lunch is on time. The mess hall on an aircraft carrier resembles a busy city food court where hundreds of people gather at once. The menu is varied to suit all tastes and needs as the supply service ensures that the crew has no shortage of calories or vitamins. Up to 18,000 meals are prepared each day. The carrier could feed a small town while also providing heat and electricity. Its galley, the ship's kitchen, spans thousands of square feet and is packed with stoves, ovens, refrigerators, freezers, mixers, blenders, deep fryers, coffee machines, and dishwashers. There are also hundreds of square feet of prep tables and dozens of powerful exhaust fans. In addition to the mess hall, there are several cafes on the carrier, including a Starbucks for coffee lovers, ensuring that anyone can grab a bite at any time. Naturally, the food is free and unlimited. The only thing you won't find on the carrier is alcohol. Or will you? If you've served on a carrier, let us know in the comments. We'd love to hear your thoughts on this. But life isn't just about work and food. Rest is essential to prepare for the next grueling 12-hour shift. The carrier offers many relaxation areas for crew members to unwind with comfortable chairs, live plants, and fish tanks. There are also group activities like talent shows. If a deployment spans Thanksgiving, the holiday is celebrated with traditional roast turkey. The carrier is equipped with a movie theater, a modern library, and a gym with large portholes offering ocean views. Crew members can take part in the 77-day warrior fitness program. There's even a barber shop on board, so you'll disembark in top physical shape, well-groomed, and with a healthy bank account. You'll be ready to head straight to a date with a loved one you've missed for months. However, even the strongest spirits can wear down when your world is confined to metal walls and the endless sea. Fatigue, stress, and isolation can weigh heavy on sailors, especially during long deployments. Imagine being in a cramped berth during a 12-point storm when everything vibrates and the ocean outside pounds the ship like a relentless force from the depths of hell. To maintain the crew's mental health, the ship has psychologists and support staff who are ready to listen, offer advice, or simply provide a warm cup of coffee when someone needs a moment of peace. These individuals play an important role in the ship's life. They help sailors cope with emotional stress, homesickness, and the harsh conditions of service. Every crew member knows that if things get too tough, there are people ready to help and support them. But on deployment, a sailor may need more than psychological help. Injuries or illnesses can occur. In March 2016, during the landing of an E-2C Hawkeye on the USS Dwight D. Eisenhower, a cable snapped, injuring several crew members. In addition to injuries, sailors can also get sick. That's why all U.S. aircraft carriers have medical teams capable of treating everything from headaches to serious conditions. The carrier's medical center includes general practitioners, surgeons, and dentists. The ship is equipped with two well-equipped operating rooms where procedures like appendectomies, fracture treatment, and more serious surgeries can be performed. The medical center is equipped with modern technology, MRI machines, ultrasound scanners, blood analysis labs, ventilators, defibrillators, and intensive care equipment. While they can't perform heart or neurosurgeries, they can stabilize a patient in case of a heart attack or serious head or spinal injury, 
after which the patient would be airlifted to a land-based medical facility. Despite the dangers and hardship, service on an aircraft carrier also offers incredible opportunities. It's a school of life where every day opens new horizons. Here you can advance your career, master cutting-edge technology, and learn to make decisions in high-stakes situations. Life on a carrier is full of paradoxes. Its steel walls may seem confining, but behind them lies a world of opportunities and personal growth. In this tight, noisy, and intense environment, people not only face challenges, but also discover new meanings, uncover the depths of their character, and learn endurance, responsibility, and how to value every moment. Whether it's a brief rest between shifts or a rare moment of silence on the deck beneath the starry sky. For many sailors, the carrier becomes a launch pad to greater opportunities. After their service, they can continue their education through the GI Bill, which covers college tuition and provides scholarships and stipends for books and housing. Veterans also receive hiring preferences for government jobs and job placement assistance through various programs. But there's something that can't be measured by money or rank, the feeling of belonging to something greater. When you stand on the deck and watch the sun set over the horizon, casting a red glow across the sky, when the ocean breeze tossles your hair and behind you stand the people you've faced hardships and dangers with, that feeling becomes a permanent part of your soul. It's for moments like these that many choose to serve aboard an aircraft carrier, for the chance to see the world, for the sense of brotherhood, for the pride of being part of a massive machine that protects your homeland. So, what do you think of life aboard a U.S. aircraft carrier? Share your thoughts with us in the comments. We'd love to hear from people who've served on these formidable giants. Thanks for your likes and subscriptions to our channel. See you soon.